Have you ever seen a pet do something weird? One day I was at home with my cat Madonna. I'm chilling in my room and I notice she's gone. I figure she might be hiding somewhere and I go try to find her. So I head downstairs and I hear something strange coming from the dining room. As I walk closer, I notice she is vocalizing. After a few seconds, she sees me and we have this strange staring contest to establish dominance. Eventually, she folds and walks to me, rubs against my leg, and dips. And that was about the first and last time I ever saw her do anything that weird. No one likes taking the train in New York City. So I'm waiting for the train one day and I'm already in a bad mood because it's the sixth train and all I want is a peaceful ride. I get in and immediately there's a homeless man cursing at some lady and her kid. This is not a chivalrous man and in this moment, I am not a brave one, so I said Shh, those kids and put my headphones on. As the homeless dude is screaming, another man walks to the train doors and like everyone else is confused. I'm not sure why, but he asks the homeless guy if he wants candy. The homeless man shuts up, puts his hand out, and takes the candy. And like some kind of 90s sitcom, everybody in the train starts clapping. And I'm waiting for everyone to shut up so I can chill. Anyway. Leave your stories in the comments if you ever defuse a situation. Have okay. you ever been to a ratchet movie theater? My mom wanted me to take her to see a Medea movie, right? If that's not bad enough, we went to the Magic Johnson Theater in Harlem. They have signs saying not to bring your guns. My expectations were in hell, and all I wanted was to be entertained. As the movie goes on, the audience starts getting a little rowdy, and all of a sudden, some random lady screams, Hit him with the grits! Which, if I'm being honest, was friggin' hilarious. A minute or two later, Medea hits some guy with a pot of hot grits. Everyone in the theater starts cheering, laughing, clapping like it was the Avengers. It was the perfect theater moment and made seeing the movie very much worth Crows it. are awesome. One day I was play fighting with my brother, and we're adults at the time by the way. He tries to grab or hit me, but he ends up falling instead. Immediately after the face plant, we hear laughter, but I have no idea where it's coming from. So we're looking around and hear the laughter again, and there it is, a giant black bird perched on a light across the street and it is cackling at my brother. Once it sees us looking at it, we all seem to have experienced some kind of mutual disbelief. And just like that, the little guy flies off. Anyway, tell me in the comments if you ever caught an animal laughing at you, and did you deserve it? I love you, mom. One day I'm giving a college tour. The energy in the group was low. I'm tired and want to get this tour over with. We're at an older facility and I try to fit a bunch of people on a tiny elevator. We all somehow get in and there's a moment of awkward silence. Surprise, mother My mom calls. Surprise, mother I'm Surprise, caught off guard and pick it up. I tell her I'm busy. Everyone in the elevator is confused, but I tell them my mom calls me at random times, so I made that sound clip her ringtone. Then the elevator erupted with laughter and the energy way up, which made for a much more enjoyable tour for everyone. Something you like your girlfriend to do to your face. I'm gonna say sit on it. Yeah! <laughs> sit on it! <laughs> Everybody feels better now. I'm about to rob this mother. Batman, I wasn't doing nothing. I Don't swear. worry. Us darks gotta stick together. Hey, yo, white boy. Yes, Mr. Batman. Pick up that goddamn trash. Yes, sir. One day during college, I was in a rush to get to class. It's a beautiful day and foot traffic is light. So I'm walking near a Walgreens and I notice something odd in the distance. Some homeless dude is crouched down on the side of the store. A little weird, but as I get closer, I notice something odd. I walk by the guy, lock eyes with him, and time slows down. The guy's sitting on the side of the Walgreens. My doo-doo's bruv. Mind you, it's broad daylight, and this man is just dropping logs. I was grossed out, but kind of got impressed by his baldness. Anyway, I made it to class, but at what cost? That image has been burned into my mind ever since. This is a crazy story. It was barbecue season, and I was hanging out with my family in our backyard. For a little context, there's a shared parking zone between the houses that's gated off. We live next to a park, auto repair shops, and bodegas, and the projects. While my mom was cooking the food, I was hanging out with my brother on the deck. We're talking, and out of nowhere, a car gets launched out of the auto repair shop, flies through the first gate, does a couple of rolls, and lands 
lands upside down while sliding into the second gate. My brother and I were shocked. We had no idea if anyone was in the car. A few seconds pass and then the driver's side door opens and a man falls out of the car. He gets up and raises his hands and says, I'm good. My brother and I were even more shocked that the guy was so chill about it like this happened to him before. No one got hurt, but ever since I felt uneasy about walking past that shop. Why? Because I'm in the hood. Anyway, if you have any stories where you saw a freak accident, share them down in the comments. One day I was hanging with a friend from high school. We were walking in the park near my neighborhood. As we're chilling, a Mr. Softy ice cream truck pulls up next to us, but we walk past it. A couple of seconds later, we hear the faint sound of the Mr. Softy jingle. I turn around and notice the truck is creeping behind us. Hey yo, what the fuck? So we walk a bit faster, but the truck keeps up with our pace. We get freaked out when we realize the truck is still following us, so we start running. The truck starts increasing its speed, and at this point, I realize this isn't a Movie. We didn't have to run in a straight line, so we ran into the park and finally lost the truck. Did he want to give us ice cream or was he an axe murderer? Who knows? You were abusing alcohol toward the end of your relationship with your prior partner, Vanessa Parody, correct? I was drinking. You were drinking pretty heavily. Were you there? So we gonna act like we ain't see that big ass motherfucking rat. Listen, you need to take me in the stickers so it, or it don't hit the same. Look at that. Look at that. You telling me that you're gonna eat that Snickers and be like, yo, this is a real Snickers? <laughs> A lot of weird stuff used to happen to me on my way to high school. This time I was running late, as usual, and came across a mother and her daughter. As I walk past them, the daughter runs up to me and says with enthusiasm, You look like my daddy. What did he say? Hey. Now there's a lot of things crossing my mind in this moment. One, I had hey, never mom. seen this kid or her mother before. And two, it was a Billie Jean moment. For a hot second, I was prepared to take this family out of the game, but I found a better way. I booked it faster than a slave running away from the plantation. I had never run so fast before in my entire life. I was gone. Sometimes I wonder if that little girl and her mom are okay. Nah, just kidding. I don't think about them at all. One day my brother comes to me in shock and says his girlfriend's dog named Neela is a weirdo. I'm curious so I ask, how is she weird? He says that she walks backwards. I look at him in disbelief and say he's crazy and laugh at him. A few days pass and he comes up to me and says Neela's doing it again. I say doing what again? And he responds by saying walking backwards. Accusations! These are not accusations. This is false accusation. And I look at him and tell him dogs don't walk backwards. A few days later, I visit him and ask for some stuff. While we're talking in the apartment, I notice something out the corner of my eye. It's Neela, and she's walking backwards. Not only that, it looks like she's parallel parking. The look of satisfaction he had on his face is something I won't forget. When I was a kid, I went to Hershey Park with my family. It was the first time I had been there and it was awesome. A theme park about candy? How man, are you serious? So we had a good time and as we were about to head home, I saw someone dressed up as a Reese's Cup. They looked like a hero to me. Reese's Cups were my favorite snack as a kid, so I wanted to give the character a hug. I wanted to share the same love I felt when I ate a Reese's cup. So I run to the guy, arms open, ready to give this hug, and the man immediately puts his hand out and says, not today, son. He turns around and walks into the sunset, and this devastated me. I learned a serious lesson that day, and now I always double check who's outside the door because one Halloween evening, my brother and I were goofing around. As we're playing, our aunt knocks on the window and tells us to open the door. She said she had a surprise for us, so Shane and I make a run for it. I get there first because I'm the faster and more handsome brother, and if you want to learn the secrets of how I got this way, make sure you subscribe or follow for more content. I open the door and almost die. Our aunt put a Freddy Krueger mask on and scared the sugar honey iced tea out of us. Shane and I freak out and run for our lives while our aunt is laughing.
Now I am about to go out, but I never leave the house without my protector, so. Come boy, come. <laughs> Jones, I'd like to show you what's been marked as plain exhibit 130. You've got it upside down. Are you gay? How are you gonna ask me a question like that? How did you marry a woman and then turn around and let a man bend you over? Ain't nobody bending me over. Hey, yo! Oh, so, so you're doing the bending. Is that what it is? When you get to the bar too late, is that doo doo? Why does this always happen? By the end of this story, I was laughing so hard, I was crying. One day, my friend Kim wanted to head out for a beer. So we go to the local bar and have a seat. And some guy behind me starts chatting up Kim. Two hours later. Her eyes dart in my direction and she's giving me the Save me. face. I go over and introduce myself. The guy gives me a handshake and the biggest <laughs> cheese smile. I don't want to laugh because I know what it feels like having bad teeth, but this guy's smile is atrocious. When he leaves, I look at Kim and burst out laughing, but I don't think she appreciated my cheekiness. Who's your good boy? Who's your good boy? Morality is a social construct. I am neither good or bad. I am simply dumb. You want to go for a walk? Yes, please. All right. Don't be so hard on yourself, brother. You look fine to me. Be confident. Put the baby down. <laughs> when did Santa come? <laughs> Subscribe and follow for more videos. Macaroni with the chicken strips. Totally. <gasps>